Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. We've been discussing about evolutionary biology for AP Biology students for CBSE, class 12 as well as NEET preparation. So in this video, we want to talk about the mechanism of evolution. We've been talking about the origin of life. We've talked about the different evidences of evolution. Now the question is, what is evolution? How exactly it works? Now the evolution idea, you know, in a general terms, if you ask any layman, they say that evolution means obviously we are looking at complex organisms forming from simpler forms. So we are going to the complex, we are going to the modified organism from the ancestor. That's quite the idea. From, from the ancestor, we are producing different variations branching from the ancestors. But the question is, how exactly uh, this evolution works? And the idea of evolution was explained by Lamarck and then it was explained by Darwin. Now Lamarck's model was there for a while but then it was disproved by the theory of Charles Darwin and then that Darwinian evolution theory is the one that we believe this day and let's talk about both of it. So first of all uh, I'll explain this idea of evolution just like the very classic example of giraffe's tall neck. Why exactly giraffes have tall neck and how exactly they ended up in such a tall neck. Now First of all, let's talk about the Lamarck's idea. Lamarck's idea. So Lamarck's idea of evolution, then we talk about the Darwin's idea about evolution. The Lamarck's idea was uh, the idea of inner want. Inner want. And the idea of Darwin is the idea of survival of the fittest and natural selection survival of the fittest by natural selection so these are in a nutshell what this idea actually is so let me explain each of this for you Lamarck's idea or idea of inner one states that let's say uh, in a forest let me explain this with uh, with a scenario here before and after okay so this is before this is after same way here for Darwinism, we'll also talk about the before and we'll talk about the after, okay? And remember one thing, I cannot draw like a uh, giraffe literally in this picture. So I'll just explain this with a uh, dot. So let me take the color as well here, okay? I will uh, say the dot. So black dot means uh, short-necked giraffe and a red dot means tall-necked giraffe. Let me, black dot means short-necked and red dot tall neck okay okay so what we know is the outcome the results because this is where we actually see giraffes these days and all the giraffes that we see these days they are of tall neck so let me first fill up the outcome all these giraffes are tall neck the same outcome that's also true but the explanation of this outcome will be different with Lamarckism and with Darwinism okay so this is the outcome we all know. But what was there earlier? Lamarck stated that earlier there are only short neck giraffe. So short neck giraffe, let me draw here. These are short neck because black colored dot means short neck. I told you. So all the giraffes are short neck. Now the problem is at, the, at this particular time and there are few tall neck giraffes as well. few very few few tall neck giraffe and then few short neck giraffe now Lamarck stated that whichever at this particular point in the forest there are also short trees and long trees tall trees now short tree is beneficial for both the type of giraffe because long neck giraffe can eat from the short tree short neck giraffe also can eat from the short tree so as all of them are eating from short plants, sooner the short plants are gone, the leaves are gone. So their food source is gone. So as there is no food source to support, then what will happen? All the short trees are dead. So the short neck giraffe no longer can eat from the short plant because they are not present anymore. But the tall neck giraffe, they can eat, they can eat from the tall plants, right? So what Lamarck stated is that 
that the short neck giraffe as they are not getting the food it makes them to induce their inner want what they want in this giraffe here they want to eat the leaves and how exactly they can do it so to to in order to get those leaves for the taller plants they need to stretch their neck so they are trying to stretch their neck so that they can reach those taller plants to eat the leaves so for this reason they are this they are trying uh, to reach there so this is their inner want to achieve their inner want they are trying to stretch their anatomical structure of the bones of the neck and sooner what they will reach slowly those short neck giraffes are converted to a long neck giraffe so this short neck giraffes are now converting into long neck giraffe okay they are converting into long neck giraffe in this generation itself now as this long neck giraffe is now reproduced the next generation they also become long neck giraffe so sooner all this uh, forest they are filled with long neck giraffe only because all this short neck giraffe they try to reach there now those giraffes who fail to extend their neck are killed are dead because they fail to survive but those who survive are converted to long neck giraffe this was the idea of lamarck okay idea of inner want this idea was present there for a while for like 50 60 70 years but then darwin's theory disproved the idea of lamarck what darwin said was little different because nobody was thinking of that at that time because darwin even before stating his theory he had uh, he had been doing the research through you know all the specimens he have collected uh, through the five years journey in the hms beagle and uh, what he found out is that he found out remarkable similarities between a species of one island with the species of the other island and he found out ancestors he found out some kind of connection between those species and that's the thing that helped him to think of the idea that how about all the species are formed from one parent species and that's the term of adaptive radiation that uh, ancestor stock species is there and that stock species giving a rise to many different new species uh, and that's that's what actually happens so what uh, darwin said at this particular point is that darwin said in the forest there are both type of uh, both type of giraffes were there short neck giraffe let's say short neck giraffe are more in population and there are also tall neck giraffe very few though but there are tall neck giraffe present before uh, the process of evolution now what happened here is that at this particular point while well, lamarck said that short neck giraffes are converted to tall neck giraffe remember because they are trying to reach out to to get their food they are pushing their limit to reach there while da darwin said that in that environment we have long neck giraffe as well as short neck giraffe but long neck giraffe are very less in the population so what happened when the food is limited when all the short plants are gone then short neck giraffe find really difficult to survive because they don't have their food but at that point what tall neck giraffes easy to live they can get their food from the tall plants so they start dividing the tall neck plants start dividing tall neck giraffe sorry tall neck giraffe start dividing and making more of a tall neck giraffe and short neck giraffes are dying because they are not receiving their food so as a result it shifts the population of giraffe only from very few tall neck giraffe to many tall neck giraffe so what darwin said is not the conversion of short neck into tall neck darwin said tall neck was present even before the selection now short neck was also there but nature selected tall neck giraffe over short neck giraffe thus at the end we find the population of giraffe filled with tall neck not with the short neck this idea is explained with the term known as natural selection because here it says nature selected tall neck giraffe over the short neck giraffe okay because tall neck giraffe are most suited in that environment most suited means it's most fit in the environment now what is this fitness that darwin talked about fitness 
is the lifetime contribution of a species uh, to the environment that means the capability of a species to produce more offspring. So here between the short necked and tall necked giraffe, uh, the tall necked giraffe uh, get the food so they continue to reproduce that is why nature favors that tall necked giraffe to produce more and more tall necked giraffe. So nature favors those organisms which are most fit to an environment thus the organism which can divide and produce more of that kind. So that is the idea of Darwin and the idea of Lamarck, the difference. So this is the mechanism now. Now we understood that this is the actual mechanism of how evolution works. Now this mechanism of natural selection can uh, shift one or two different type of uh, physiological properties into different dimension. Because we know that a physiological property of an organism can have different range. For example, if we talk about a tail of different animals, because mammals have tails. So the tail can be short, the tail can be moderate, the tail can be long. Now, this natural selection sometimes can shift an organism from one extremity of the morphological property to other extremity of the morphological property. So let's say a cat used to have a very short tail but now due to a natural selection event the cat is having a long tail. How? Let us explain this here. So this is when we explain the type of natural selection. So in this case the natural selection uh, process that we discuss uh, based on the idea of tail. Okay. So let's talk about tails. Let's first talk about a lizard. A lizard with a short tail and a very long tail. Now what we can see is that earlier in the population there are lizards with only with short tails. Now the problem with the short tail lizard is that the lizard can run and everything is fine but due to the short tail you know other predators are present for the lizard and the predators can eat the lizard. Now in the population there are very few long tail lizards present. So as there are very few long tail lizards slowly what, what happens is that the long tail lizards start to survive more from the predation. Now the question is why? Because let's say the long tail lizard has a, has a tail which looks like a snake. So while the lizard is running its tail looks like a snake so other predators fear the lizard. So rather than eating a long tail lizard they are preferring to eat a short tail lizard. So soon the population uh, in the population short tail lizards are getting killed by the predators long tail lizards are surviving. So what happens in that population? The population will, will be shifting from a short tail lizard to a long tail lizard. So this is a type of natural selection. So here nature selects long tail lizards to live and reproduce compared with the short tail lizards due to the winning property of the long tail lizard. This is known as directional natural selection. Why directional? Because in this case the nature is selecting one particular extremity that is a tall tail rather than a short tail. Okay? So that's a natural selection. And remember nature will always select the one who is the fittest to the environment. That's why the term is there survival of the fittest because the most fit organism to the environment will survive the other organisms will fail to survive and the organism who fail to survive will be extinct right because it will not be present anymore while the other organism who can survive will reproduce and new generations of that same organism will form. We exist because our ancestor existed, our ancestor survived, our ancestor was picked by the nature so that we can continue to live. So this is the idea of natural selection, this is the idea of evolution, that's how evolution works. Now we talked about this directional natural selection. There are also two more types of natural selection, stabilizing natural selection and disruptive natural selection. What is stabilizing selection? In a stabilizing selection, nature selects one particular property. Let's say it's a moderate property, not the two extremities, the moderate property to live more. For example, human. 
while the human is born during the birth of the human if the weight of the human if the weight of the newborn baby is very low then the chance of survival is very less but if the weight of the baby is too high then it will be very difficult for the mother uh, to survive so that's why uh, the weight of the baby is considered to be the moderate which is fixed in the center so if in all this case if we if we try to uh, if we try to look at a, a, a graph for a low and a high both extremities then a stabilizing selection will select the moderate form of it a directional selection will shift from low to high or high to low from the extremities and the third type is disruptive selection so disruptive selection is a situation where mm, only the extreme properties will be selected not uh, the moderate property because it's the opposite of that of the stabilizing selection again let's exam uh, let's talk about the tail so the tail of uh, let's say a squirrel if the squirrel can have a very short tail it can have a very long tail and it can also have a moderate length of the tail now those squirrel who have a very short tail they can run very fast because they cannot be caught by the neighboring or, 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 or the predator that's one thing there okay now the second uh, thing is if they have a very long tail then those squirrel can live in the plant tree they can sleep in the plant tree because with the help of their tail they can attach them in the tree so they can survive from their ground predators now a squirrel with moderate length of the of the tail has neither of the property it cannot run so fast neither it can live uh, in the in the height of the plant so as a result they will be caught more often by the predators by the road predators and they will be killed so that's the reason uh, for the squirrel only the short tail squirrel or very long tail squirrel are selected by the nature while the moderate length uh, squ tail squirrel are not selected so if we look at this uh, this disruptive selection in the graph what we will find is it will give a uh, help and advantage to both the extremities short tail and a long tail and very less individual to survive in the moderate tail because uh, it's not required so in all this case we can explain it with graph and in the graph in the x axis we will see the morphological property and the y axis we will see the number of uh, individuals in the population who survive uh, for that particular morphology so this in a sense is the idea of evolution so evolution works by natural selection so nature select the fit most fit individual in the environment to live and that individual will will breed more it will produce more offspring in future okay so that in a sense is uh, the idea of uh, the mechanism of evolution so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that.